Come back to the rich YouTube channel. Today's class will be learning how to make this beautiful outer side pocket with facing. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. If this is something you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so the focus of this tutorial is going to be on the pocket. So the outer pocket. So I have my skirt bodies drafted already. This is my basic skirt. And when I open it up, this is what I have okay so now the next thing I'm going to do the first thing I'm going to do is to create that slant for my pocket okay so to do this I'm going to put it on fold again so that I can have something equal on both sides so after placing it on fold from the center from the side okay that's the open part where you have your hip line you can see my allowance so I'm just going to come in from there and then measure around three inches okay depending on how wide you want this to be so after measuring three inches now I'm going to measure the length of the pockets open so for the length I'm going to measure around five to six inches from my waistline so from here so the next thing now is to connect it so connecting this you can connect it in straight form or you can use your slightly curved ruler to have something like a curved design so it depends on what you want so if you are going for a curved design you use your curved ruler and then you have something like this a bit curved and then if you are going for straight you just place your your ruler in a straight form like this and then you have something like that so now after connecting the next thing is to bring in your scissors and then you're going to cut out that shape that you created so now i'm cutting out the shape so this pocket has a facing of another fabric you can use the same fabric if you want but another fabric is going to give it more beauty so the next thing i'm going to do is to cut out my facing first so i'm going to be using this black black plain fabric for the facing and then i'm going to put it on fold so that i can cut the two sides together okay so after putting the fabric on fold by two i'm going to bring in my pattern and then i'm going to cut out the exact shape that i have here so i've cut out the shape as you can see so now i'm going to remove the pattern and then i'll measure around three to two and a half inches okay depending on how wide you want the strap to be i want it around two, and two inches wide so i'm going to hit half an inch on both sides to fold it in that's how i'm measuring three inches so from here now i'm going to measure the three inches all around and then i'm going to connect it and cut out So I've connected it now. I'm going to come in with my scissors and then cut out the shape that I have. Okay, so this is for the two sides, and it's going to stand like this. So, after opening up your pattern, each of them is going to be like this going to be a facing for your pocket your pocket so now the next thing is for us to cut out the pocket so for the pocket i have my fabric folded like this i'm folding the two together again so on fold i have the width to be around seven and a half inches and then the length of the pocket for me is going to be around 12 inches 12 and a half inches okay so it depends on what you want to work with so to shape your pocket you are going to open it up like this okay and then on one side i'm going to shape out the shape of my pocket so i'm just placing my pocket i remember we have to one for each pocket so just like we shape pockets for our trouser you're going to place your pattern on it and then you shape out that design on one side like this so for the other side i'm going to put the pockets on fold by two 
cooking then after putting it on fold by two i'm going to shape this side so to shape this side now you need your full pocket so that's why it's important for you not to cut out what we removed or you can just do this part before you cut out the shape of your pocket remember we measured let me use the wrong side so that we will see it's better remember we measured six inches downward when we wanted to shape our pocket so that shape that i cut out i'm putting it back so that i can shape out my pocket so now i'm arranging it well making sure that the waistline aligned very well and then you're going to place it so placing it now you can clearly see your shape so now i'm going to shape out the other side of my pocket okay now i can remove it so this is what the pocket look like one side is going to be for the pocket opening and the other side is just going to cover it up so you can see so once you open put your hand in your pocket you can see the other side is going to cover up this space that we have removed from our skirt so now the next one is for us to start sewing them so we'll start sewing from our facing so now you can see the facing you can add interfacing to <laughs> Okay, so you start sewing by placing your facing on the main fabric right side wrong side of the facing facing the right side of the fabric then you're going to fold in your seam allowance on the lower part so you can do this with the head of your iron and then after folding it neatly like this you take it to the sewing machine and then you sew it down so you can see me folding it or if you can sew it in a way that you flip this okay and then sew it internally then place it on it whichever one you can do if you cannot sew it like that you just need to fold in your seam allowance with your iron and then you sew it round so I have pinned down the facing on both sides as you can see. The next thing is to take it to the sewing machine and run my stitch on it so that I can sew it down. So after sewing it, you can also use your stitch to hold these hopper parts together so that you can sew your pocket easily. So I've got ahead to sew it down as you can see and then I sew this part down as well. So the next thing is to bring in our pocket. Remember this is how the pocket is. We have one side that we shaped to form this our pocket shape and then the other side is to form the side seam line that we have. So this is how you want it by the time you are done. By the time we place this on it, we want the right side of the fabric to be showing outwards like this. So just like I have done it like this, you can see what I did was to fold my pocket just like I want it to be. And then I placed this shape on that part where I shaped on the pocket. So I'm just holding it now to sew it. I'm just going to flip it over like this and then place it on it so after placing it on it i'm going to sew it notch and then i'm going to turn so i've notched it round now so after notching it round the next thing i'm going to do now is to flip it so i'll flip it and this is what the pocket looks like so you go ahead and iron it down or you top stitch on it so after flipping it you're going to arrange it well making sure that the two sides seam match with each other like this and then you place this on it as well so this is what i have so far now to sew it down i'm going to turn it to the wrong side so this is what it looks like on the wrong side you can see your pocket is still opened so now i'm going to sew it by flipping it like this and then i'm going to sew it down so you can also sew it down like this but i don't want my my rough edges to be shown you can also sew it down like this but i don't want my rough edges to be showing that's why i decide to just flip it like this and then sew so by the time i sew it and then i turn it to the right side it's going to be neat so i'll go and do that for the two of them so i've sewn down the lower part now so by the time we flip it over 
you can see that it is neat on this part so you can top stitch on that or you just leave it as it is so after turning it i'm going to flip it and this is what i have so you give this a very good press i'm here to iron it so i'll go and iron it so that it can be very very neat just the way i want it and then you arrange it well so the pocket is arranged now so i'm just going to hold this with my pin but you can go ahead and then top stitch on this part to hold it down and then also stitch this to stitch the pocket to the main body so the next thing now is just to place your back on the front and then sew it together on the side and your pocket is ready so this is what the pocket looks like you can see you can just put your hand inwards like this and your by the time you sew your back of the skirt to it your skirt will be ready so now I'll go ahead and iron this and then sew this down and then I'll bring it back to show us what we have okay so this is what the pocket is looking like you can see how beautiful this is looking this is the first one and this is the second one so if you put your hand you just see how beautiful this turned out i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and if you like a video on the upper part of the thumbnail which is the keyhole neckline let us know in the comment section i'll consider filming a tutorial on that as well i'll see you in the next one bye